Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. This is my nothing phone one with the nothing launcher and this is my another phone one plus six which has same latest nothing phone one launcher 2.5.7 from the latest Android 14 update. It has all the working nothing widgets and the features as you can check on the screen. You can also install this on any Android phone. The version I am using is only compatible with the Android 14 and I also given the Android 13 compatible launcher version link under the video description. Today in this video, we will check out how you can install this on any Android phone and make it work on any device. We will check out all the features working on this launcher mod with all the bugs continuously while reviewing all the features. So without skipping any part, please watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. As this is a root method module, your device must be rooted using the magics or kernel su. Here my device has the kernel su support. I am using the Android Android 14 custom ROM. You can install this on any rooted Android 14 or Android 13 stock or custom ROM. Now download this launcher module zip. Open the modules tab in the kernel su application. There tap plus icon. Then locate the launcher zip file and flash it. And then tap reboot. Same steps were to be followed for the magix rooted devices. Once device boots back, open the kernel su application again and enable the root access toggle for the nothing launcher. Now go to the settings and the apps. There under the default app setting, set the launcher application as the nothing launcher. Now next step is important. Go back and under the app section, tap three dot menu from the top right corner and select the show system applications. Now search for the stock launcher of your device. Here it is C Android home for me. Tap force close and then tap disable means we have to disable the stock launcher. If you want to use it back again later, you need to enable it again. So all the steps are done and now new nothing launcher is working perfectly. Remember this may work or may not work for your device. If it works, it may also has many bugs. Now let's check out the features along with the bugs present in my device for this launcher. All the settings are same here for this nothing launcher. By long pressing on the home screen, we can access the home setting of the launcher. Here major setting is double tap to sleep on the home screen is working properly for this mod launcher on my OnePlus 6. Recent panel is also same for the both the devices. Recent panel app shortcuts can be accessible by just tapping on the app icon on the top of the recent panel. Screenshot menu is available but as we are using the custom ROM, it is giving the more screenshot menu option as compared to the stock original nothing launcher. Under customizations, who gets the same customization setting but there are some bugs present here. Same like original launcher, who gets the icon pack setting where who gets the different icon packs. Especially nothing, stock icon pack is available and it's working with the moderate launcher perfectly. Actually all the icon packs are working here. Layout setting is also working perfectly, who gets the 4x4 or 5x5 icon layout, app level and the search bar toggles are available and working. One bug I found here is that the wallpaper's colors and the basic color setting is not working in the launcher mod while it's available in the original launcher. In the same way, modded launcher did not have any stock nothing OS wallpapers while the original launcher has the different sets of original nothing wallpapers. Under more wallpaper setting, you get same wallpapers of nothing wallpapers along with the some solid color wallpapers. But the modded launcher only has the solid color wallpaper set. While setting up the wallpaper, you get the wallpaper scrolling and atmospheric wallpaper effect setting. And both are working very good with the modded launcher similar like the stock original nothing launcher. 
Here you can take a look of atmospheric wallpaper effect for the both the modded and original Nothing launcher. In the customization setting, original Nothing Launcher has the lost screen widgets and the lost screen shortcut setting. These settings actually not working for the modded launcher. I did not got any option to set the widgets or the lost screen edge shortcuts. Both settings causing the force close of the modded launcher. Now comes the most interesting part of this video that is the Nothing widgets. New launcher mod comes with the all the nothing widgets like clock widgets with its two different variants, compass widgets which is working perfectly with the good accuracy of the direction like original launcher, apps folder setting like arrangements of the applications in the folder and the cover icon for the complete folder are working and it looks nice. Wallpapers widget is available, we can actually able to add the different wallpapers in the widget setting but they are not getting available in the widget and not scrollable like the original launcher. This one is also seems buggy. Next is the pedometer widget available and it's working in the launcher mode. Who gives the real time steps and the daily step counting in the widgets. We can also able to check the monthly and day wise steps counts at any time using this widget. Weather widget is available and it's working but here there may be some network issues that's why it's showing the network error for the both the original and the mod launcher. Music widget is available but it's not working in the mod launcher while allowing some permission it's showing some restriction errors for the mod launcher. So basically 90% features are working perfectly for the mod launcher similar to the original one. But the bugs may vary for the different devices and as per their firmware on the top of which they are using this launcher module. Like for the stock ROM it may not work properly while for the vanilla custom or the stock ROM it may work properly. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content, thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.